What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick sponsored guide, I'll be taking you from zero to hero with WAP and their brand new 4.0 update, bringing tons of new features to the mobile apps. WAP is a fantastic website if you want to sell anything and everything online, from courses to PDFs, Discord roles, or anything you can imagine. Their new mobile app makes it super easy to set up your own business from scratch on your phone in 60 seconds. The new update makes it even easier for users to find your products, get better curated feed results for updates and posts that you make, and for creators working from their phones, it's centered around managing your business, messaging customers, and more, all from one platform on the go. Let's get into it. Simply search the App Store or Google Play, whatever you're using, for WAP, or you can click the link in the description down below. You'll also find an affiliate link to sign up with if you'd like to support me at no extra cost. Once you've downloaded the app and created your account, you'll be met with a brand new feed page. For now, we'll quickly visit the Discover tab where you can see just what kind of content is on WAP with thousands of tags at the top of your screen, and of course, even more categories. You can do pretty much anything and everything here. With that in mind, we'll head across to the Dashboard tab and get going with our own WAP store. So, first of all, you'll need a catchy name for your store. I'll just call this Troubleshoot Guides. Sounds good. And we'll need to give our page a clickable headline that appears on the Feed tab. So, for this, I'll say, that seems like a pretty good headline. Zero to Hero Video Editing. Then, we'll create our store and we can now customize it. We'll start off by uploading a banner image. Then, at the bottom, we'll add a logo. And we get a description box where we can give more info about our project. So, this WAP is for everyone who wants the best guides to creating videos for social media success. Sounds pretty clickable. If we scroll down here, you'll find visibility as well as whether you want it to be listed on the WAP marketplace for public discovery. And of course, at the bottom, affiliates, but we'll get there in a moment. For now, I'll save this. And the next step is adding an app. So essentially, WAPs are your shop front. And inside of it, we can have tons of different apps that do different things. Each of these, we can lock behind a different payment method, once off subscription or just free, free trial, etc. Everything from a chat app to allow you to speak to your users, to courses, for hosting videos, forums, and there's just tons more here. For now, I'll start off by adding, say, courses, which is what this WAP is going to be based around. When we add this app, we can customize it, so create a course. We'll give it a name, say, Video Editing 101, and we can give it a tagline, so the basics of creating a video. We can give a description so people know what they're getting into, and that sounds pretty good. Clicking through, we've now created our course, and it's just about posting some content. So if we have a look, we can see it's populated with a chapter and some lessons already, but we can remove these for now. We can rename this to the basics, for example, and we can add a new lesson. That's either text, video, PDF, or anything else. So we'll start with a video, for example, and we can upload a video here of any format, attach files, and we can say whether we want the video or whatever content we're posting to come out now or in a certain number of days to keep people coming back or subscribed if it's a subscription thing. Creating content is relatively easy. You'll need to start off with something like a lens and a camera to get going. So I'll start by uploading a super simple video as the first course or entry to the course. We can add attachments like project files, etc. And once it's uploaded, we can review our content. And when we're happy with it, we can head back and have a look at our course so far. So for now, there's just a eight second video as our first lesson. And we can manage the app and add a quick quiz to see what people know. Ask our questions. So there we go. We've made a super simple questionnaire. What's the best way to take video, phone, video camera, or just anything, as long as the content good. We'll set that as the correct answer and we can add more questions, options, etc. I think for now this is fine. Let's save and having a look at our course's overview. Things are already set up pretty well. We've got a lesson and a quiz and of course you can flesh this out as much as you want. But for now with this example done, let's head back to the overview and get to pricing. So editing the pricing plans we can add and make our project free or paid. I'll do a paid option and we can make it a single payment or a subscription service. Let's go with subscription, a dollar a month, sounds fine. There's a one day free trial, no initial fee, no wait list, there we go. Perfect. With that, we've now set up our payment system for our project here. You could do low ticket recurring communities such as making your project a cheap subscription, or you could do high ticket payments where your project costs a lot once off. It's really up to you. And finally, just a bit of housekeeping. We'll add a bio to ourselves so people know why to trust us. I'll say, that sounds fine. Save it. Create a persona, which is essentially who we're looking for. So I'll say, I'm looking for aspiring content creators. And this guide will help you take your content to the next level quickly. Save. Done. And there we go. The final step is to set up our payouts, which is how we're going to get paid. We'll select our country here. 
For me, I'm in South Africa, so I'll connect with Stripe, and now we'll just need to create a Stripe account if you don't already have one. And there we go, we're done. The only thing to do now is to publish our WAP and go live with it. It's pending review currently, but shortly after it's been reviewed, it'll go live and we can start earning money from our project. Speaking of, something super important for any business is trusted reviews. If we check out our WAP store here and scroll down, you'll eventually see FAQs and reviews. Down here, we can see trusted reviews for our platform. There's nothing here, obviously. But if we discover and pick something from the discover page and check the reviews, these are all verified reviews, double checked for authenticity, so you know you can trust these. Something else super important are refunds and on WAP, refunds are guaranteed for WAP creators. As you've already seen, I've discovered a new WAP from the Discover tab just by scrolling here, but we can pick a tag at the very top based on what we want to find, a category, and your WAP, once it's live, should appear here as well. As you can see at the very top, over $500 million has already been spent on WAP this year, and every week over 2 million people check out this very discovery page here. So your project is going to have a lot of eyes on it. WAP is essentially just Amazon for courses, consultations, agency services, and communities of any kind. And one of them was even a church that set up their services through WAP for supporting them, keeping in contact with churchgoers and things like that. WAP tags every WAP and user, so it should showcase only the most relevant WAPs to any user at any time that they believe you'd be most interested in checking out and possibly supporting. For now, I'll check out the latest activity and we'll find a free WAP that we can join. So, I don't know, this one here. I'll get access, join them for free, and now we should be able to see on the Home tab the different WAPs that we're currently part of or supporting and any important info from the feeds that they post out. This one doesn't seem to post anything, so I'll join a few. Now that we've joined a couple of WAPs, our feed should be populated with some content that should be relevant to us. That's it. No noise, no clutter. This feed is basically like, well, Instagram, I suppose, but it only shows the content that you pay for or you've subscribed to, and you'll get notifications for only the most high-priority content. With the Feed and Discover tab touched on, we'll head back to our dashboard, and for now, as I haven't got much set up in my store, nor team members or anything like that, there's not much that I can show you, but if I switch accounts here, if I head across to the dashboard here and check out the Users tab here, we see everyone who's joined our communities. We can private message them, so here's my other account. We can message them and chat to them if we wish, or if it's more than just you involved in your business, you can check out the Settings tab followed by Team, and you can manage people in your organization where you can pay them out via WAP. Here, we can also check out other users, sort by total spend, for example. Once we've found someone who's paid, we can check them out, private message them, or scroll all the way down, check out their individual payments, and we can choose to refund them. And we can also just as easily manage chargebacks and more entirely from your phone. Of course, everything that you do here, you can also do in your browser, just log in, head across to your page, and you can manage everything here as well, the same way you always could. Heading back to the mobile app, you can do tons with this platform, and possibly earn tons of money if you monetize just right, selling just the right thing. And assuming you're interested in purchasing something, I'll head across to the Discover tab, pick a tag like self-improvement and productivity, and we'll pick something like how to earn through TikTok. This is just how they've priced their course. For example, if we choose to purchase it, there's a couple of different methods, mostly depending on what country you're in. For me, there's card and PayPal, but WAF do offer things like financing through Affirm, Klarna, and Afterpay, for example. So it really is a super powerful platform. And of course, it's up to you and your future business or even current business to make money. Now that you've got a WAP with some products on it, another super exciting feature is the affiliate program that everyone has access to. If a user comes across your page and you have affiliates enabled, they can share it with more people and earn money themselves by sharing your product and getting people to support it, purchase it, subscribe, etc. If you check out your WAP page, head across to Settings, followed by Manage WAP, you'll see scrolling down here, we have Affiliates. By default, it's set to 30% commission, so if someone shares a product of mine or the entire WAP store and someone purchases or subscribes, they'll get 30% kickback 
which comes off of my profit. It's super simple to understand. And of course, it can help drive more purchases as other people are doing your selling for you. That's a pretty exciting feature. And of course, you can customize it as you see fit with different percentages here. And of course, speaking of sharing your products and your WAP store, we can of course head back to our dashboard in the bottom right, scroll all the way down until we find custom links inside of here. If we create a custom link here, it'll either link to our store page or we can create a checkout link which is much more exciting. This will take people straight to purchasing your product or subscribing. So you could even consider this a kind of invoice. And if you wish, you can either choose your existing prices. So say $1 a month, or we can create a brand new pricing option to give a particular deal on this. So for example, I can make this link free, instant access, and the first, let's say, four people that click this link will get free access that lasts, well, forever. If we do this and create a link called free, for example, save and copy this, then we share it as the giveaway. Four people can join our product for free, but more than likely, you'll create a direct checkout link. So check out for my usual monthly subscription here, and we'll just call it start, for example. When we create this link and copy it, when users visit this page in their browser, they take it immediately to our checkout. So here it's a subscription, but of course it could be a one-off payment or anything like that for our products. As a user goes through and punches in their details, they'll be asked to create an account and all that good stuff so they can actually get their products. So it's all handled for you. Also on this page, we have promo codes where we can create a promotional code that people can use on the checkout page for a certain discount on our subscription or once off purchase, etc. as we see fit. This once generated as say test, say you've got a $20 pack that people can purchase, you can put it up for, I don't know, $15. If we save this, users can then on the purchase page, use our code up here in the promo block. Then of course, scrolling up just a little, finances, we can monitor our payments, gross revenue and payouts to us to withdraw straight to a bank, or we could send it to a different user on the platform like a co-owner and things like that. The disputes section and resolution section would be used for chargebacks and other certain issues that users could have with the platform. Then at the very top, just under your WAP store, we've got users and stats. Stats will obviously tell you about the earnings from your platform and users allows us to see who's currently subscribed or is a paying member, free member, etc. And the waitlist allows us to approve and add new members as they apply. And that's it. We've run through the entire dashboard board page and you know everything you need to know about the platform. So that's it. Hopefully you found this guide useful. Once again, thank you so much to WAP for sponsoring this full guide. Again, you'll find links to the App Store and Play Store versions of WAP, as well as an affiliate link if you'd like to support me further. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.